If you're wanting to manifest your SP or anything else, like super quick, like lightning fast, like I'm snapping my finger and it's showing up, then you should make affirming fun. If you want to know what I'm talking about, then stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another rousing episode of Spill the Tea Tuesday. My name is Fossey, and I'm like the funniest, wittiest mindset coach as well as your OG Hype You Up Rampage Queen here on YouTube. Want one-on-one -on -one coaching with me? Links will be in the description box below, as well as links to, like, the VIP group, plus my make 2024, the best year yet intensive boot camp has been turned into a course. So if you want all the worksheets and to watch the recorded class, because it's no longer would be live, but watch the recorded class and the follow-up Q&A and get all that information and kind of do it yourself, then I've made it available into a course. I've actually made it for $125 for the first few, and then it'll go up to probably $149. It is about six hours worth of content. Got loads of information in there. Doesn't come with like all the accountability in the Facebook group, but if you want something that you can just watch and put into practice yourself, that has a payment plan that's a cheaper option, and that's there for you. I'll put the links for that in the description box below. Before we get started, I am going to do my calendar because you know that I do it every single time, just because it's funny as fuck, to turn it to manifestation. So it says, today's agenda, scream into the fucking void. Yeah, like if you, today's agenda should be affirming and persisting. If you're screaming, it's because your 3D looks like shit and you're spiraling. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. It says, too fucking fab to be drab. Yeah, step into your power and affirm for yourself concept because you're literally the opera and power of your reality. You're awesome as fuck. Time to start planning a vacation with all the money you're manifesting, period, or manifest a free fucking vacation. It says, find the path unfucking traveled. You're making your own path. Like, this is your personal journey. Nobody's journey is like everyone else's. This is yours. And figure out how manifestation works for you and manifest the fuck out of what you want. It says, I'm the original badass. Thank you very much. I am the original fucking badass as the OG Hype You Up Rampage Queen. But you guys are all the badasses of your reality, period. This is funny to me. It says, don't know what's worse. The non-fucking stop couple pictures or the shitty self-love posts. You know what this tells me? This tells me this person's in victim mentality. If they fucking affirmed and persisted, they'd have what they want. And we wouldn't see that shit to begin with. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. The topic of today, if you're wanting to manifest your SP or anything else like super fast, then you want to make affirming fun. Because why? We have repetition of thought. That's how we get what we want. Repetition of thought, don't forget, is how we change our dominant thoughts in order for the 3D to conform, right? So we're having this repetition of thought. A lot of people get bored with it. A lot of people find affirming boring, which is why a lot of times people do what? Fall off the affirming wagon. Maybe I should link that video right up here, the video on falling off the affirming wagon. But a lot of people stop affirming many times because they think their manifestations rolled in and so they stop. But let's just face it. I, I know that I have personally found affirming boring as fuck and I've had to find ways to make it more exciting for me also if you're neuro neurodivergent if you have like adhd if you know if you just struggle to maintain focus um some of these things are also going to help you it can make affirming easier for those of you who struggle to focus who struggle to stay on track as some people do and i mean of course you can obviously affirm that your brain is like a supercomputer it always does what you want that you have total complete control of your mind and that uh you only have thoughts in line with your manifestation, but here are some tips and tricks to maybe get you to that point because you have to change your mindset about how your mind works, which also includes affirming. And I know that I work with many of you who say that you struggle to affirm and stay on track. So making affirming fun can help you, those of you who find it boring and want it to be more exciting, more of a game, or for those of you who struggle with neurodivergence and struggle to focus, stay on track, mind wanders, all that shit. So anyway, I know that I talked about the tally counter in the last video, which I should link here. I talked about power affirming um, and how 
I enjoy using a tally counter. In that video, I show like a couple tally counters that I have on my phone that I use. I also use like a little handheld one that beeps when I get to 100 affirmations. But using a tally counter, again, can help you stay focused. Now, I want to make a comment for last week's video because when I made the video on power affirming and I talked to people about how, you know, to just loop, 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 loop affirmations like with lightning speed and short bursts, to really saturate their mind, I jokingly with sarcasm said that if you do it for an extended period of time, you're gonna rot your brain out, burn your brain out, and people are like, oh, Flossy says that you're gonna burn your brain out. That is not literal, okay? I think that when you're robotically affirming or actively affirming, oftentimes we're affirming slower and power affirming to me is like, that is your sole focus. You are looping that shit as fast as you can think. You are pushing your mind. You are trying to see as many affirmations as you can get done that's a game that I'm going to talk about in a second, but you're like pushing your mind. It's total, complete focus. You're not doing nothing else but affirming because you're like, do, 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 like, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, blah, blah, blah. you know, do you see what I'm saying? It is like lightning speed like this. And I think for a lot of people, there's only so long that you can keep up that pace. Plus it's like, we have things to do in life and not, I mean, we can robotically affirm and be doing many activities, but you're not going to be power affirming and doing a lot of activities because you're literally like this on your fucking phone. So that was sarcasm. Not going to literally blow out your brain, okay? I had to clear that up because some people are thinking like that your head's going to probably blow up and that's, come on now, come on, come on. So for those in the back, no, you're not going to rot out your brain or, brain or blow it up. So with the power affirming though, you can turn it into a game. How many can you do a minute? Can you beat your previous score? So you see what I'm saying? You can take pictures, screenshots, if you're doing it on your phone, of how many that you've done. You can maybe with your manifestation buddy, see who can beat who with how many affirmations and maybe have the affirmations be similar enough that they take about the same amount of time to affirm or whatever. But you can make a game with yourself or you can make a game with someone else and see how many you can get done. I found that that was amusing, but uh, that is something else that, that you, you know, that is one thing that you could do. Take power affirming, turn it into a game. Um, to stay on track, one of the things that you can do, and it can also help for it to not be boring, is to do EFT. Now, you know, Sammy teaches the faster EFT tapping. Um, if I can find that video, maybe I'll link it over here. But just real quick, you can tap in affirmations. It helps you to change your mindset quicker. But it's literally just tapping on some simple meridian points. Um, you know, it's the inner eye, the outer eye, under the eye, the clavicle, and then holding the wrist. So it literally would be like, SP's madly in love with me. Our relationship is fucking perfect. He treats me like a diamond. SP's madly in love with me. Our relationship's fucking perfect. He treats me like a diamond. SP's madly in love with me. Uh, our relationship's fucking perfect. Treats me like a diamond. SP's madly in love with me. Uh, relationship's fucking perfect. Treats me like a diamond. SP's madly in love with me. Our relationship's fucking perfect. Treats me like a diamond. You breathe in. Now, you could say peace if you'd like. You do that when you're tapping out emotion. But anyway, you can keep tapping that. It gives you something to do. It's another thing for you to physically do that can help you to remember to affirm. Because if you're tapping in the corner of your eye or your outer eye or under the eye or on the clavicle or holding your wrist, you're doing another activity that's going to distract part of your mind so that you can do what? Fucking affirm. So use EFT. It can help you to also feel better about what you're affirming. If you also struggle to stay on track, you can use the Parrot app or any app where you can record your affirmations to your advantage. Just record them with enough space to repeat that affirmation. So it would be like, I'm a master of manifesting. I always get what I want. Everything always works out for me. So you would have enough space to repeat that affirmation. For some of you that struggle to remember your affirmations or to say the affirmations, it would be engaging enough to uh, help you to affirm you would hear the affirmation, you'd be thinking about it when you're hearing it, you'd be thinking about it when you're saying it, it repeats it so that you're not having to memorize your affirmations or whatever. You can also, of course, write down your affirmations and read them off, but some people might enjoy the Parrot app because at the times that they can affirm, they could listen to that also. Make affirming more fun, funner. I like the word funner. I know it was in Legally Blonde. I know that's technically probably not a word, even though it probably is a word now, but I like to use the word funner. So make affirming funner for you. You can rhyme affirmations. You can sing your affirmations, but I you can rhyme them. And for some people who struggle to remember them, that can make it more game. It can make it more exciting. You can be like, affirming is fun every day. My life is perfect in every way. I'm a master manifester, always getting my shit faster. Everything in my life is perfection, always going in my direction. Literally the sexiest queen anyone has ever seen. Boom. You can have shit like that. SP is madly in love with me. He treats me perfectly. Our relationship is golden. I'm the only one he's holding. You know what? You can make hella rhymes with your, with your affirming and then literally loop 
your affirmations that you have created rhymes, make it a little fun, make your mind, you know, make it kind of catchy, make you feel giddy by doing rhymes. You can also take songs that you know and change the lyrics to being about you and your SP or to being about you. There's no reason why you can't take a song that you like and make it about you or take the hook, you know, the refrain, the catchy part of that song and, you know, make it change the words to suit you, to suit you and your affirmations. You got a little something that you can sing to a tune that you already know. There's a whole lot of things that you can do to make affirming fun. These are just a few of the suggestions. A lot of these suggestions, I think, like I said, would help those that struggle to remain focused, those who have some neurodivergence, because um, I'm often asked about that a lot, but I would I would make it a game. Power affirming, see how many that you can do. You know, make make rhymes with it. See what rhymes you can make. See who, who out of you and your manifestation buddy can make the best rhymes, the funniest rhymes, the most obnoxious rhymes. The, you know what I'm saying? And if that's not enough, you can rampage your shit. Rampaging can be pretty, pretty fun. You know, where you say your affirmations with authority and flair and cuss a bunch and usually say them louder. Like, you know, I'm a bass ass, spot ass, bass ass, boss ass manifestation bitch. I always get whatever the fuck I want. I get whatever the fuck I want facts because I'm a master at manifesting, period. I'm the sexiest bitch on the face of of the planet and everyone knows it. All the men are banging down my door to be with me. I literally could have any motherfucker that I wanted. Hardcore fucking back. So however obnoxious you want to be, sorry for all the swearing. I swear a lot when I rampage, but you know, listen to some of my rampages. It'll give you a clue on how to rampage. You can create your own rampages based on your affirmations. Same with authority, same with flair. Add a bunch of swear words and then there you go. So make the affirming fun. Use your manifestation, buddy. Play some games with each other as far as what's the craziest affirmations you can come up with. For about your situation, who can affirm more, who can affirm more during the day, who does more, you know, in the power affirming, stuff like that. So anyway, that's just some suggestions for you to make manifestation fun. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Drop your comments, questions, concerns below because you know I'm always going to check them out. And as usual, I'll talk to you later. Bye!